Hi, welcome to another Cajun Toy Review, and today we are going to be talking about G.I. Joe Classified Major Blood. This is one of the infamous Cobra Island Nightmare figures to get from Target. Uh, if you haven't, if you are a collector, you know all about it. These figures get bought up very quickly by scalpers, and um, it can make really hard for the purists and the collectors and stuff to get their hands on it. Uh, I was very fortunate to find this one in the store. Um, very excited. And I'm glad to be talking about it today. This is uh, one of the figures that I was actually very anxious to see uh, when he was announced. And um, looking at the presentation, the box, and all the accessories he comes with, he looks amazing. So let's take a look. So we got the classic uh, G.I. Joe logo, classified series, Major Blood at the bottom. Um, that evil Cobra Island right here. Got an artwork on the side from Age of Blood, really cool. You see, like, he has a little red laser on here. It doesn't look like that's going to be a part of the figure itself. Uh, you can see his little rocket packs and everything and stuff. And then they got uh, something in the background with the Mars logo on it, which is a cool little detail, I find. Uh, on the back, man, Major Blood looking badass. Uh, his arm looks a little strange right here. The way it, that's someone else's arm. That's strange. So here's his arm, and then there's another person's arm, but using his gun. I'm good. Oh, unless it wraps around. Okay, okay. Now it makes sense. So there's two major bloods. All right. So now we're looking at the whole picture. So yeah, this is this is major blood, who we see every day, and this is his internal persona right here. This is badass major blood. So this, yeah. Okay. Sorry for that confusion. On the side, we got his little uh, data points and everything and stuff. If you go to thejajo.com, you can break those down, and they tell you like his traits and stuff like that, like it matters. But uh, on the back, we have that Cobra Island picture that has been on the other figures that are hard to find. Uh, it's got different shots of Cobra Island. It looks like an airport. Um, TJ Maxx and something like that. And then um, not much else on the bottom. Got that UPC for you if you need it. On the topic of the 27th, because this is the 27th figure that come out. Until we get Firefly and Breaker and Snake Eyes. Yeah. Oh, not Firefly. Barbecue. So, without further ado... Let's get Major Blood out of here and check him out. All right, and here we have Major Blood. Man, like, I was so excited to get my hands on this figure. I was, this is probably the most anticipated figure uh, up to date that I was waiting to get. Uh, the new Snake Eyes and Timber is definitely my new uh, holy grail for my G.I. Joe Classified. But uh, taking this figure out, posing him a little bit, uh, checking out his accessories and stuff like that. This is a good figure. This is a really solid figure. It sucks that it's a uh, Cobra Island. Um, I'm hoping and I'm kind of thinking that these are going to be a little bit easier to get. Uh, just because I've seen two in the wild. Which I barely saw any of the older uh, Cobra Island stuff. Um, so good luck to you out there. Uh, hopefully this review is a little bit after he's come out. So hopefully you've managed to get one without having to pay uh, stupid scalper prices. But uh, yeah, man, this is a great villain, awesome figure, um, and man, I love it. So let's take him off this pedestal. Let's take a look at his accessories. Let's take a look at Major Blood. All right, so let's get the accessories out the way. This is an accessory. So Major Blood comes with uh, this backpack, which is very similar to his original. Uh, backpack from the original G.I. Joe line, the 3.75 uh, line. Um, but when you look at it, it looks a little different, if you remember it. And it, the reason why is that you have these two missiles. And they fit in the pack. Just kind of line it up on there. The little groove is. They just kind of snap in. Now, i got to be careful because, that you see, they will fall out uh, rather easily. And you don't want to lose these. <laughs> uh, I had a frantic search right after I took it out the package. One kind of went flying, but uh, yeah, they're they they're staying in there now. But earlier I had a little bit of flip flopping with them. So yeah, that's the pack right there. Now on the side of the pack, there's a little. Let's see, it can be like this. Actually, I have it upside down. On the side of the pack, you have a little pinhole right here. Uh, this is for this pistol, which is his rocket pistol, I guess you call it. Uh, what you can do with that? You take one of your rockets. And you just attach it like so, and you have uh, your rocket pistol, uh, rocket blaster, whatever you want to call it, but really neat. Uh, he also comes with this revolver, which is badass. Uh, I love the silver 
finish on it on that. I mean, it's just a lot, a lot of little uh, detail in there. It looks great. Um, it's perfect for him because he's kind of got that Western vibe going on. But yeah, this is this is the peacemaker right here, or the, <laughs> the the peace record, I should say, for Major Blood. And last but not least is his helmet, uh, which goes perfectly on his head. Like so, look at that. Now, um, I'm gonna take it off. We're gonna look at the figure a bit. As for like the detail in the paint, man, he is amazing. He's got this little white streak right there. You know, he's got that, that crew cut. A lot of detail. He's got the scarring under under his uh, his patch or his eye uh, right here. I think it's a line right here from the helmet. Um, but anyway, yeah, a lot of little cool little work on there. Real clean paint work on his eye. You know. Uh, the eyelashes, his teeth, his lips, and stuff like that. The pink on there, I mean, that's really, really good paint work on there. I really like this. Um, but yeah, I mean, really cool. I like his that shave, none of no bleeding, no paint, anything like that. It's really, really quality. Um, a lot of detail on his armor. Now, a lot of his stuff is reused from the Cobra Trooper, uh, the arms and the legs. I'm sure uh, on the vest you can kind of see the line work right there with a little. Uh, that two-tone material is but the vest uh, a lot of little detail in there the buckles you got the straps that kind of come over like that you get the black with the silver and stuff like that it looks great uh, black right here and then I wish these would have a little gray or black in it but it looks good like that um, you can see that two-tone under there with that brown and that dark dark brown right there now he does, Major Blood, he does have two different arms because he has a robotic arm um, and then he has his regular arm. And yeah, they are, one is slightly longer. This one is slightly longer when you look at it, but it makes sense. I mean, it, it's his robotic arm. It's not, uh, it, it's not going to be 100% match. Um, but going like to his, his real arm, you got that little patchwork right there. Got this really cool arm guard right here and you can barely see it on his gauntlet but he's got that cobra logo on there that's awesome and of course you got trigger fingers on both hands and then this arm is his robotic arm as I said before uh but you got that mars logo right there and destro incorporated but that's awesome a little detail right there uh i love how you can see like the wires and the circuitry in there just lots of little detail look you got a bottle opener right here but yeah, there's fingers and stuff like that. That is cool. That is like straight up Terminator right here. Look at that. That is awesome. Trigger finger on that hand as well. And then the buckle. Got a lot of silver, a lot of different paint. Um, it's a floating belt like the other ones, but it's held down by this holster right here. So it's not bad at all. Uh, little canisters of skull or whatever. You got his, his chewing tobacco right here. Yeah, because Major Blood's going to chew, he's a chewing tobacco guy, he's a cowboy. Um, nice texture on the pants, but these, like I said, these are the Cobra Trooper pants again. Same thing with the knees. Uh, and then we get to some new work on the boots. Got these shin guards right here, which are really nice. The straps are up right there. You got that little buckle thing like on the cowboys. And they got some some stompers right here with these steel toes. This is, this is cool. I like this. This really fits. Uh, need some chaps. Not some chaps, some uh, stirrups on there. Perfect. Uh, the holster is awesome. Holds that pistol perfectly like that. So everything can be holstered on them, which like I've said over and over again. Uh, any characters that can carry their weapons and stuff on them and stuff like that. Extra point right there, right away. And he's no different. He's got it. It's awesome. So uh, posability wise, uh, with this armor and stuff like that, his neck, you're not going to get much at all. Looking up a little bit. Helmet is going to be a little less. Uh, arm swivel. He's got... Double jointed elbows, bicep swivel, uh, wrist rotation. He's got a hinge in there a little bit. Uh, this armor here is going to limit your rotation, uh, going up a little bit with that shoulder pad right there. But uh, you got your bicep swivel, uh, double jointed elbow. So you can pick your nose with that, that robot hand. Uh, wrist rotation, and got a little bit more flex on there. So, yeah. Um, he's got an ab crunch, but like I said, it's going to be limited with that vest again. That's going to hinder a little bit of his stuff. Uh, rotation on the waist is good. Do a split. 
Got your uh, thigh swivel. Double jointed knees. Kick your own ass. He's got his uh, calf swivel. You got that ankle rocker and rotation. So, overall, awesome figure. If you can get it, if you get your hands on it and you're interested in it, definitely get him uh, before his prices go up because it is a Cobra Island. Hopefully, we're seeing the turn in on that where it's going to be a little bit easier to get these in stores. But I don't cross my fingers on that yet. But yeah, uh, classic, classic G.I. Joe character from uh, my, when I was a kid. Um, I remember kind of being kind of whiny and stuff in the cartoon and stuff, like, but really cool in the comics. And this figure is badass. So, uh, we're doing some more Joe soon, Marvel Legends, stuff like that. Please give a like, comment, subscribe. Check out our Facebook. It's in the uh, links in the description below. Uh, thanks to everyone who's watching. Uh, tell a friend. That's how we grow. Um, but once again, for everyone who's watching, thank you so much. Catch you in the next review. Hey, back real quick. Uh, so, totally did not forget this or mess up on this in any way or any shape or form. Uh, this is all intentional. And the way I, I planned on doing it from the start, uh, I forgot one of his accessories when I was cleaning up. So we have this. So uh, Major Blood comes with uh, a plethora of dog tags. So these basically just sit on his head. I'll take his helmet off, slap that on there. And yeah, so you got his dog tag. It's right there. Um, yeah, I'm not say about that. I mean, I it's not something I'm, I took it off because I wasn't going to keep it on him. Uh, maybe posed on the shelf, but when I was doing some pictures with him, I had taken it off for a few minutes. And when I could put it down, I was easily forgotten. But yeah, um, it's a big, thick chain. It's just several, it's like 10 dog tags or something like that. But yeah, uh, all the unlucky Joes that have crossed his path. So that was his final accessory. Sorry I missed it on, on the initial, but uh, I wanted to come back and just throw it on there as well. So that's his final accessory for uh, Major Blood. Um, didn't want to record the whole thing, just to add that one piece on there. But anyway, once again, thanks for watching. Catch you in the next review.